What is up you guys? Today I want to talk about my favorite pencil case. Yes, you, you heard me right. I'm literally doing a video on a pencil case. Okay, so these are from Bellroy. All right, they have, a, they have two sizes, a bigger one and a smaller one. This one's made out of leather. This one's made out of woven fabric. That's what they say on their website. But here's the deal. I want to talk about pencil cases. <laughs> I feel like that's a confession. Here's something you need to know about me. I want to talk about pencil cases. Why are we talking about a pencil case? Why do I feel compelled to talk about this little pencil case? Uh, this one specifically. I'm going to set this one aside. I feel compelled to talk about this little pencil case because uh, of a few reasons. Number one, first and foremost, there's some design details in here that I think are exquisite are really, really lovely. Not just on the outside. On the inside, there's a specific one that I want to call out because it's the kind of thing that would get missed. And it's also just, it's like, you know, I, I just think it's nice to celebrate good design, especially when it, when it can cause so much delight for you. Hold on, more on that in a second. But the other reason why I wanna talk about pencil cases is because this little thing, a little piece of gear like this, has the potential to outlast the things you put inside of it and the things you put this inside of. So there's some design details I wanna show you and I think that there will be, you know, enlightening for a lot of us. But also, I just wanna call attention to and almost like salute those little pieces of gear that we use that, uh, that will be with us for a really long time. There's no, that you won't, like, chances are you won't have a real need to upgrade this for a long time. Compare that to this. Right? Compare that to your phone, compare that to your computer, compare that to your damn magic mouse. So there's little things like this that you can get uh, that make your life more of a delight on a daily basis. I will show you what I mean. All right, let's take a look at this thing, okay? First of all, you have this very simple, elegant design. Now, I'm, I'm thinking specifically of the sort of fatness, the way that this thing looks right here. Listen, it'd be the easiest thing in the world to just make a flat pouch like many of you probably have already or have used at some point that you could get for two and a half dollars on, on Amazon or something. It's just flat and you throw your stuff in there and it works fine. But I like the heft of this one. I like the way it looks. I think it has a kind of an, an adult quality to it, a grown up quality, like it's just, it's so, it's just, it's just kind of nice. Now I get it, it's a pencil case. I know some of you are like, dude, what are you talking about right now? I get it, it's just a pencil case and we're talking, we're going a little deep on a pencil case. Come with me, cause we ain't done talking about the design. In fact, we haven't even gotten started. So look at this, you see these loops? Okay, one, two, we've got this little loop thing and it's pulled around and sort of sewn underneath in here. Really, really a strong way of doing this. This thing's gonna last for a long time. Now these loops, you're gonna put your fingers through them a bunch, you're gonna hang them. Some of you are gonna put like a fucking lanyard around it. Some of you are gonna like find a way to sew a morale patch onto it. Some of you are gonna hang it from your <laughs> rear view mirror in your car or something like that. These loops, first and foremost, you just have, it's just like you got a little thing to finger and like hang out with and you use it a lot. You put your fingers there and you open that zipper. You might put your fingers here and close that zipper. Just nice little loops, right? But they do more. Okay, one of the things these loops are doing here is they're actually, because we've got the structure of the zipper, they're actually pushing this up. They're giving us a little verticality here, okay? So we can actually have a little, like even, there's no, even if there's nothing in there, it's gonna have some dimension. Super simple, right? Super simple, but it, it, it makes it nice to loop that around. It actually pulls this up and you can, you can kind of like, you just, I don't know. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of like a fat snake or something like that. And I like that dimension. It feels, uh, it feels alive. It feels like a thing. It feels a little bit delightful. It feels a little, like it just feels nice. Compare that to any pouch that's just flat. That's just a pouch. Like, look at this little guy. It's from a Sure microphone thing. Uh, and, and it's got a zipper. It's made out of a faux leather. It's got some, like, some padding and some felt on the inside. Not a, not like a totally useful thing. But it's just, you know, you put something in there. It does that shape. This, when you put something inside of it, it doesn't change its shape. It's like... And I like that, it's, it's got a shape to it, okay? 
Little things like this, you have no idea how far that goes to our stupid fucking monkey brains, our smart fucking monkey brains, who are used to seeing specific kinds of patterns out in nature for, you know, millennia. Our DNA has been trained to see certain shapes and things like that. So when we're working with design like this, I like that we have kind of an aliveness in just having the verticality. Now, another thing that those, uh, those curls allow is you just pull this and you pull that, and now you can you can have you can look at you can literally just leave this open on the table right next to you. And you could go one step further, which I tend to do because I'm pretty fussy. I give it a little pop and a pinch and a pop and a pinch, and now look at that. Look at that. It, it even looks nice. It's not just functional. It actually kind of looks nice. So this is all the curl. This is all enabled by the curl on the outside. It gives us verticality. It gives us a little dimension to the product itself, which I think contributes a lot to its playfulness and its sort of uh, identity, its personality. But then you can also do a very functional thing where, where, you, where you pop open the, uh, the, the case and you can visibly, especially for those of you who are artists and you're really gonna have a lot of pens and pencils inside this thing, I'm using it just for cables here, but you're, you know, doing whatever the thing is that you do because you're a millennial and you're very creative and you reach over and you grab something like the Mark I pen. I'll put a link in the description below to this. Uh, my friends Dan and Tom made this pen and it is a superb writing device. But anyways, then you've grabbed that and you're doing your thing and it's nice to just have this open. I think a lot of you who are more creatively bent, you can put your stuff in here that you're gonna be getting in and out of and it's nice, it's like a desktop tray and then when you're done, you put it all away into your bag and you've got it at the cafe in 20 minutes when you're going to get an espresso and a scone. Now, I don't know if Bellroy invented this curl thing, right? Uh, I don't know. Maybe this is classic pencil case shit. I'm, <laughs> I'm not up to date with pencil cases. I do not know about the Victorian era pencil cases. So maybe this is, maybe this is, this is classic and, and they didn't invent it, but I like that they went with it when they're designing this pencil case. This is, this is, uh, this is just one of those, uh, it's one of those little products that you you realize how thoughtful the designers were in making it and designing it and like and actually like inventing it that you're like, oh shit, what a delight. Okay, let's talk about uh, some more of the aesthetics. Just the outside, the material. On this one, we've got a woven fabric, right? Bellroy is really good about sustainably sort of choosing their stuff. They're a B Corp certified. I'll put a link to that, their page on being a B Corp below. This one is made out of their leather, which they have some standards for, but it's not like they're mentioning like, this is the farm we got it from, or it's like, here's Giuseppe. He makes the cows and we love using Giuseppe's cows because they eat walnuts. That's the kind of story I would totally go for. I want to see a chef's table about a pencil case. Is that what this is? I need more like, I need more violin music and slow motion shots. Okay, woven fabric. This is the gray with a nice tanned leather accent bit. I like the look of this. This has a look to it that's like kind of um, like an old school, like 60s Mercedes or something to me. Earthy with the, with the woven material, it's, which is like a canvas, uh, like a, a cotton canvas. It's got an earthiness to it, the leather, attributes to, to that sort of ruddy earthiness as well. And then this nice silver zipper that's just, it's just metal. It's not too shiny, it's not too flashy. It has a kind of a, it feels like the kind of zipper that's gonna break in over time really nicely. But overall, very understated, unassuming, very like sort of like, oh, nothing to see here kind of look. It's just, it's it's sort of ruddy, natural. It's not flashy. It doesn't have a turtleneck on. It's not wearing pointy shoes, right? It's just sort of like, oh, hello there. How's it going, old boy? We can check out this leather zip pull. One of the things that's really nice about it is it's got this like seal on the sides. It's almost like a wax seal or something, but it's not waxed, you can't tell. But for some reason, there's no grain that you can see on the side, and I think it, it's just, it's a nice, soft zip pull. Now, I wanna show you something inside of this. This is basically the reason why I'm doing this this video is because I found this and I'm like, you know what, this is, 
This is such a nice design detail. So I'm just gonna open this up and, and pop it open for us. And I'm actually gonna get rid of all of this stuff. What I have in here is just, I carry a lot of these little cables, like this is a USB to USB micro or mini, one of the two. This is USB to lightning, or that's actually USB C to lightning. All these little cables that I have to carry, my Apple's you know, lightning to headphone adapter, all that stuff I put in this pen case, okay? And I use this little pencil case for those precisely because it's super nice, it's little, it's minimal, some bags, it's perfect for it. Other bags, I use different stuff. Other bags have like storage for this stuff in the bag itself. But once they're in there and I've got all the stuff that I need, like this just kind of fits into a lot of different places. But let's open it up so I can show you what I'd like to show you here on the inside. Okay, so a couple things first. You'll see this liner, okay? You see how it's much more tightly woven here? There you can see the canvas, right? Really tightly woven material right here. And it looks like it's almost like stickered on there. And you can see this, this, this material actually goes off into the corners. They use some here on this panel and then it comes up off the, off the corner again, almost like it's a clover shape or something like that. But what I really want to show you are these sort of like cutaways right here, which I almost called spines. You can see how it doesn't go down very, like all the way. It just stops right there. It looks like it was die cut on some, you know, fancy machine or something like that. What do you think those are there for? Because I guarantee you that cost them money to put in there. Th this material doesn't come with like just spines. And they're like, well, we'll just leave the cutaways there. No, they, <laughs> they put those cutaways in there. Can you guess why they're in there? All right, now I can't be certain. I haven't talked to the Bellroy designers about this, but here's what I've got. Where those spines are is right here. You can kind of see them when you're looking in person. You can kind of see a little spine right there now, or a cutaway right there. If those cutaways weren't there, that material, that tightly woven material has a kind of rigidity to it, you know, like, like every fabric does. And I think if it wasn't there, this whole thing would get more a uh, tube, like a PVC pipe would just be a tube, would be, you know, taller like this. It would be too tall. It would look too circular. It, do it doesn't look as interesting. My hunch is they literally designed those cutaways so that we could have a better looking silhouette here, a, a shape to this that's a little more playful because by adding those cutaways, it allows this to curve over faster because, because now it's like it, this woven material on the outside is just, it's more flexible right there. So instead of keeping its shape and coming around to a round thing, it kind of plops down and then you have those spines right here and then it goes up. <laughs> <laughs> Am I, are you getting it? Okay, so two amazing things going on right here. Not only did they decide to put a tighter woven material on the inside, which I think goes a long way to making this an extremely durable product, not only because it provides structure and support, which we'll get into in a second, but because uh, it is gonna be easier to clean, you get mashed up crayon and pe colored pencil bits in there. It's just, it, it had, the, the canvas itself has, has larger sort of nubbins, which is a, you know, term of art, a nubbin. But you can see the weave. You can see the weave coming over itself like that, right? And so little bits of, of food or, or crayon tip or something like that can get stuck in there a little easier. With the tighter woven material, my hunch is it's gonna be easier to clean. It's gonna be easier to get stuff out of there. Stuff won't get like smashed into that loose weave of the canvas. And, and then let, let's say this is doing three things. The first thing is it's easier to clean. The second thing is actually it's nice. It just feels nice on the inside. It, it feels considered. It feels thoughtful. It feels, it feels feels kind of like luxurious. It, it kind of does. Then the third thing is because they have those cutaways, it actually contributes to this playful, uh, this playful silhouette, this, this sort of, this, this faux density, this faux like heft. Like when this thing's down on the, I mean, there's nothing in this right now. And when it's down on the ground like this, when you hold it up, like it's got like a snake a fat snake kind of vibe to it, which, which, which is unique and interesting and delightful to me. So ultimately what I'm getting out here is this is a super delightful product. So simple. It's a pencil case or is it a pen case or is it an electronic? Like who knows what you're going to call this thing? I don't know. Cause you can call it a lot of different things, but when you start interacting with it on a daily basis, 
and experience the kind of thoughtfulness there is in this. And really that thoughtfulness isn't like, when I experience that, I'm not, as a person who kind of critiques design, I am looking at it and experiencing the designers. But after a while, I stopped experiencing the designers. I just experienced my use of the product, how my cables go in there, what it's like over time to use this with my set of colored pencils. And that's exactly the kind of shit that's gonna happen for you when you use a product like this. Now, I'm not telling you you need to go out and buy this. There's a lot of cheaper pencil cases out there. But this one, at coming in at like $39 USD, is, I think, one of the more thoughtful pencil cases, let alone products, <laughs> that, you'll, that you'll get to interact with on a daily basis. Okay, so that's just a little homage to the Bellroy designers who thought so much <laughs> about what a pencil case should be, what we want from something like this, and then kind of indulged, allowed themselves to spend the time and the money to do that, to think deeply about it, and then to create a product and bring it to market and go like, you know what, I think people are willing to pay 40 bucks to have, uh, to have something like this that's going to last a very long time, and that hopefully, you know what my goal is? My goal is my grandchild finds this in a desk drawer at some point in some house I'm living in and it's still intact and it's still, and it's at that point it's got a kind of a patina that is like delicious. And my grandson or granddaughter goes like, oh, Papa, can I have this? I don't know if they'll call me Papa. I don't know what my grandkids are calling me. I don't know if I'll have grandkids. Yeah, who's having kids anymore these days? I am. Okay, so just a little homage to a little thing that might you be used, might serve you, might be useful in your bag. And, and for those of us who it does, just a just a notice that like something like this might be in your life for thirty years or more, and it's nice to have something that is that has been considered, been thought about. You know, I really like this. Okay, so here's both those pencil cases just open and, and you can see the large, you can see the small, and you can see they both have that nice material, that, that tightly woven fabric on the inside. This one's leather. This one's their woven canvasy material. Uh, salute to you, Bellroy, for making lovely, lovely products that are, that are made with like just regular ass material that feels earthy, feels like it's humane. Much obliged. Carry accessories and pouches like this, I think, kind of play an essential role. They certainly do in my way of carrying. So I put together a page on my website, which you'll find in the link below at this time code to just my favorite accessories. I'm testing out new ones all the time. This is just for carry accessories. Some of them are for travel, some of them are for daily carry. Um, maybe you'll find something there that, uh, that, you, that you really love and that you need, who knows? But remember folks, your dollar is your vote. Who you're spending money with, just the roughshod, cheapest thing you can find on Amazon continues to keep that economy afloat. Or you go into more considered goods, you buy less, but you're happier with what you have, there's a way of life there that is uh, inspiring for all of us. So here's to you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in for a silly video about a pencil case. You're a weirdo. You should know that. So am I. Love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bagworks.co JaceReeves.net Those are the websites. I guess those are the websites. Yeah, I guess so. Let's go check out what he's up to or something like that. Yeah, it looks nice.